Hi guys, it's Alice here. I've got another vlog for you. This time uh, it's gonna be an interview. The lovely guys Nick and Johnny from The Rodeo, which is therodeomag.com, have asked some questions for me, so I thought it'd be cool to do it in a vlog. So let's get down to the questions, here we go. So my first memory of music is probably my mum playing Queen or Meatloaf on the radio when I'd be driving to school. It was always the Innuendo album um, and I just absolutely loved that album, it was fantastic. So my favourite song on the Innuendo album was always I'm Going Slightly Mad because I just loved the lyrics, uh, I just thought they were really fun so that was always the one that stands out in my memory for me. My first time going to a gig, and I'm going to say a proper gig and not like a little kiddies pop concert thing because I don't think those really count as being like a proper gig. The first proper gig that I went to was uh, a really early Muse gig and they did the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and me and a couple of friends decided we were just going to go up, we were going to go and see the site, enjoy what was on offer and the only thing we had planned was this Muse gig. We decided very early on that we were going to get to the front row of this gig, uh, which meant we got up insanely early that morning. We were up at something like six to get to the venue and there was already a massive queue there because people had stayed overnight and they kind of camped out. But anyway, we got in line and we stayed there for the whole day. We just kind of picnicked out on the floor until they opened the gates and they let everybody in and then everybody sat down and was chilling out and it was really cool atmosphere because everybody knew they'd got hours to wait. The weather was glorious. Uh, and then I think the support act was actually My Chemical Romance and I noticed a lot of like the uh, the people that are more interested in Muse kind of hung back a little bit for that one. So we did manage to get right up to the front row. So we were front row both for My Chemical Romance and for Muse on that one. And that's probably the most insane gig I've ever done. I had a lot of bruises in the morning. There were a lot of spare shoes on the floor at the end of the gig and I'm not surprised. It was a very excited, rowdy audience, but it was fantastic. It was so much fun. So I guess my first my first gigs um, would be prior to me becoming Alice's Night Circus. I did used to do the pubs and the clubs and I'd go in and I'd sing a load of covers and everything but I guess they weren't proper gigs because the audience was already there anyway and they weren't necessarily listening to you. So I'll count my first Alice's Night Circus appearance as, as like my first proper gig and that was at the Lincoln Asylum Steampunk Festival and it was actually at the fashion show on the Friday night and I was so excited to do it and really nervous because it was the first time my music had ever gone out into the public domain um, before so I didn't really know if people were gonna like it or if they were gonna be like why is she here what is she doing it was very nerve-wracking but it was really good fun I was a very thankful to the organisers for putting me on because they'd never heard me sing before, they'd not really heard any of the music and they didn't know what they were were putting on. So I was really grateful to them for taking a bit of a risk and I've been back to Asylum every year since so I guess it went well. <laughs> so I think the first proper song I ever wrote was probably for my music GCSE and I honestly cannot remember what it was about at all. Yeah, I, I can't remember it in, in the slightest what that was. However, prior to that, what I do remember is I used to write little poems in the back of like my maths book because I, I didn't like maths at all. So I'd sit and do like doodles and art in the back of my maths book. And I would write little poems about little monsters and creepy things. A little bit like the uh, the poems that Tim Burton did. So they're probably the, the first songs that I actually wrote and actually can remember those as well. I think I've still got them somewhere, so yeah. The first instrument that I learned to play was the keyboard and I guess I came in at that quite late, I think I was about 
I think it was about 12, 13 when I actually first started to learn the keyboard. And I went to this lovely local teacher called David and he was really nice because I explained to him that I didn't want to sit all of the exams and do all of that, but I wanted to work through the grades just without the pressure of additional exams like on top of my GCSEs and A-levels and things like that. And he was really cool with it. So we worked our way through all of the, the books and everything. And um, he also said that I was one of the first students that he'd ever gotten through to like the, um, the, the grade seven and onwards stuff because people would sort of drift away prior to that. And I was sure it was because I didn't have the pressure of exams on me so I could just do it for fun in my spare time. So this is a really good question because I, I think it took me a lot longer to realize it than other people around me. I originally wanted to study costume design for film and theater at university. And I was actually on an art course in Lincoln, <laughs> heading down that, that kind of a road. And one of my tutors at one of our meetings, she said to me, why are you actually doing uh, art? What, what are you wanting to get out of it? So I kind of explained it and everything. And she said to me, but you're also a singer, aren't you? And I obviously explained that, yes, I love singing, did all of this. And she just sort of looked at me and said, the way you talk about music is with so much passion. And um, she says, I think you've got it the wrong way around. She said, um, you shouldn't be doing the music as a hobby and doing the art as a career. She said I should be doing the music as a career and the art as a hobby. And I went home that evening and that just really lodged in my head. And I just sort of thought, you know, I think she's actually right because I do prefer the music. I'm a lot more passionate about the music and wanting to sing. Whereas I enjoy making outfits and costumes, I just, I'd rather sing. And then I also realized that if I did go down that line of singing, I could incorporate my love of costume design into my own performances and make my own outfits as well. So I kind of got the best of both worlds by pursuing music. And so yeah, I came at that a little bit late, I think. So big thank you to that tutor for pointing that out to me. Ah, uh, so this is the how did you get into steampunk question. Quite funny really, I was already making things, as I mentioned before, I wanted to do costume design and things. So I was already kind of making accessories and clothing and things like that. And you end up with a surplus of them. So I kind of thought it would be great if I could trade and sell this stuff on and make a, a few pennies towards like going to uni and everything. So I was trading and I was trading at an event and I had my stall set up and it was all kooky and, and quirky. Uh, and I had it set up like a, I don't know, like a Victorian curiosity shop kind of thing. And there was these mannequin heads and hats and things on them. And, and it, it just, it didn't look like anybody else's stalls. Um, and this guy came up and was like, oh, this would go down really well with the steampunks. And I had no idea what steampunk was. So of course, when I got home, I looked it up. And as soon as I saw the aesthetic, I suddenly thought I've been making for steampunks before I even knew what steampunks were. And by sheer luck, one of the biggest festival, well it is the biggest festival now, was, was literally on my doorstep. So I had this wild idea of, oh let's just jump in at the deep end and uh, we'll go trade at this thing and see what happens. I haven't ever been to anything before. We found out there was an event on a week prior to that at a steam rally. So we thought, you know what, let's just go and suss it out before we do dive in. Uh, so we went to the steam rally, met a bunch of people. They were amazing. We got on really well. And I thought, I think I found my people went to Asylum, traded there, and I just never looked back really. So I kind of accidentally fell into steampunk. I think I was steampunk before I knew what it was, yeah. So I wanna do a big shout out to Nick and Johnny from The Rodeo. Their website is www.therodeomag.com. Thanks so much for asking me questions, guys. It was great fun answering them. Hopefully you've all learned something. Also excited to announce that the album will be released for the first time on digital platforms from the 23rd of August, which is just in time for Lincoln Asylum Steampunk Festival. You will finally be able to get the album on iTunes and Amazon and all the usual online platforms. Because I know a load of you have been asking, when is that gonna happen, when is that gonna happen? Well, it's soon, it's the 23rd of August. If you found this interview interesting or useful, uh, make sure to check out some of my other vlogs. Keep tuned in, I've got official videos coming up. There's also some other official videos um, that I've already released. 
Um, you can check out my website at www.alicesnightcircus.com. Don't forget to subscribe, press the little bell icon that makes sure that you get notified for all of my videos. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all the usual places. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.